I'm Brian Fisher here at Notre Dame Stadium, John Arlotta Stadium, and I'm here to talk to you about a drill that we do with our goalies called the Irish Guard. And what we're working on in this drill is trying to condition our goalies to hold the pipe as shooters come around and get just above goal line. We're working on holding that pipe and forcing the shooter to go across their body and across the cage, and then working on getting our hands to the goal. So here's how we set it up. Uh, in, in the drill that you're going to see in just a few moments, we use tennis balls and we put them behind the goal. Uh, tennis balls just save the goalies a little bit. It allows them to, to kind of read and react, uh, get their hands, body, you know, whatever they need to get to the ball to make the save, uh, and they don't get beat up as much by using lacrosse balls. So it's a controlled, controlled drill with tennis balls behind the goal. We put the goalies on the pipe, and we'll take three or four of our uh, better shooters and attackmen in to start the drill just so we can give the goalies a, a fighting chance because it is a tough, uh, a tough angle uh, for them, but also difficult for goalies to read the shots. We'll tell the, all the shooters to stay high for the, for the time being so that when the guys come around the pipe, they have to get the shot off before they get one or two yards above goal line, and we tell them to shoot high. So now the goalies have a pretty good idea of where the ball is going, and they just kind of match sticks, read and react, uh, find the head of this, the, the shooter's stick, get their hands to the head of the shooter stick and stay up with it. So we'll start right here on the pipe and as that shooter comes around they're big taking up space all right and then they're finding the ball and making the, the shot uh, making the save uh, when that shot is released. Now what we're trying to do is we're trying to hold this pipe and force that shooter to not see anything uh, stick side or on the pipe. We're trying to force him to come across our body. We're trying to make the shooter as predictable as we can and once that shooter as he comes around right here commits to going across our body we're just trying to make the right move with the, the head of our stick, follow with our knee and popping that foot and getting down there trying to stay big, getting to the ball. Coming to the other side here for a right-handed goalie, it's a, lot, a little easier because my stick is now pipe side. All right? and, and what we're trying to do again is force this shooter to carry the ball as long as possible so that it's a little more predictable, trying to get him to shoot across my body. The longer I force this shooter to carry the ball up the field, all right, the more time I give for our slide to, the, uh, to get there and get the hands. And the way we play defense, we like to slide from the crease, and we try to slide to, as, as the guy comes up between two and three yards above goal line. Just as he's becoming dangerous, we're trying to get there onto hands so that he can't feed or shoot. So really, the only shot that he might have would be kind of near side pipe or right at me, uh, and I'm going to try to take up as much surface area as I can as the shooter comes around. So I'm right here, stick up. All right, some goalies like to give a little lean on the pipe. Some just like to stay in their base. All right, whatever your goalie is comfortable with, you know, I would work with him. But more than anything, I, I think you need to be explosive. Some guys can get away with being a little off balance and hugging the pipe and still be able to explode far and away. And some goalies prefer to just have that little wider base. All right, give up a tiny bit on the pipe. This will be a hard shot for a shooter if there's only a couple inches here for him to come back across his body with the slide with us getting some pressure, uh, driving him away from the goalie. It's a tough shot near pipe, but more than anything, you think you want your goalie to have his hands up, take up as much surface area as possible, be balanced, and then just explode for that ball. And the last thing is, a save's a save, whether it's made with the goalie's foot, his elbow, his helmet, uh, stick. We just want the ball uh, to stay out of the goal, and then after that, we'll get a fire call if the ball's on the ground here, or as a goalie, we'll just come out and clamp it hard. Once we get the ball, we want to get it up and out, this is the Irish Guard. Enjoy. That's it. Good way to stay tall. Keep that stick up. It's hard for you to get there, Brennan. You're leaning on the pipe. Keep your balance. One cage. That's it, Colt. Drive your hands there. That's it. Read the, read the head of his stick and the release. Make the right move with your hands. Push these shots wide if you can. Saves the save. Get your hands there, though. That's it. Couple more. <laughs> Match his stick there.
Last one. Here we go, we're live, let's go. All right, standing on the pipe, matching sticks, Brendan Moore. That's it. Take away everything on the pipe, make him shoot across your body, then make the right move. That's it. You're pushing it wide. Drive that top hand down. Smother those. Smother them on the ground. Shooters, keep coming this side. Everything's good, keep your stick up there. Force him to go across your body. Come on, Pat Cotter. So drive the hand, smother it, force it wide. It's a way to stay, stay with him up top. Go ahead. Don't lean, Brendan Moore. Stay on that pipe, but don't lose your balance. Don't come forward off that pipe. Make him go across your body. That's it. It's a way to stay on the pipe. Good.